guys, it's Candace from Candace's Sensational Crew. I'm just going to do video number three of some of the games I play at home parties. Uh, just to help you guys out if you're ever stuck and want to change it up what you do. So this is the, um, the I Never game. It's really for um, a select group of people. Maybe more of the young and um, open and fun group because it can get a little crazy. I love playing it with my younger crowds and people that I know personally. Um, basically it's very simple. So what I did is I got, um, you can use whatever you want, but what I use are little mini rocks that I got from the dollar store. And I put 10 rocks in a little um, Ziploc baggie and everybody gets 10 rocks. So you start with the host and every guest needs to share something that they have never done. Um, but that other guests may have done. So anyone who has done that will have to give up one of their rocks to the person who made the statement. And you go around the room twice, the person with the most amount of rocks at the end wins. So for example, I would say, I have never been on a motorcycle because I haven't. And if somebody has, they have to give me their rocks. So a rock, sorry, one rock. So you go around the room twice and um, the person with the most rocks wins. So it can get, it can go, um, Either way, I find it tends to get very silly um, with the questions, um, and it, it's a really fun game to play. It's quick, it's simple, and it's fun. So that's one. That's the I Never game. The other one um, some people like to play is a Don't Say It game. It's very popular at baby showers, but we just changed it to Sensi. So when guests arrive, give each two clothespins and instruct them not to say the word sensi during the entire party. If someone catches another person saying the word, the catcher gets to take the offender's clothespin. At the end of the party, the person with the most clothespins wins a prize. And again, the prizes can be a scent circle or um, a sense bar, anything you want. It's up to you and your budget. And um, like I said, I, I normally always make um, Sensi cups with a bunch of little things in it because I just love to make the prizes uh, look so appealing. You don't have to use the word Sensi in the Don't Say It game. You can use, um, I don't know, you can say uh, warmer or you can say uh, wax, but I mean Sensi, it's a pretty good one because people want to be like, can I see that Sensi bar or are, what time did you get to the Sensi party? So it's good to keep people on their toes. And the last one is a fun one as well for the ladies, the what's in your purse game. You can either, if you want to, um, ahead of time, tell people, make sure to bring your purse just to give them a little tip. I don't because people who've been to my parties um, now, they come with their purses loaded with stuff that you wouldn't normally have just in case we play this game. So this is called what's in your purse and there's different categories. And um, this one I printed off. So one point for keys, driver's license, cell phone, lotion, and a pair of earrings. Two points for gum, cough drops, a $20 bill, photograph, and receipt. Three points for candy, sunglasses, nail clippers, band-aids, Tylenol. Four points for fingernail file, flashlight, tweezers, hand sanitizer, and calculator. Five points for tampons, breath mints, work badge, shopping list, and toothpick. Six points for a hundred dollar bill, a postage stamp, pepper spray, socks, and a USB flash drive. Then your total points, and whoever has the most points wins a prize. And it can get um, really fun and, like, and hilarious actually to see the amount of stuff that people pull out of their purse. And you can alter this in any way you want. I mean, sometimes we have tablet on here or we have a sandwich just to see, because you'd be surprised at what women can put in their purse. So that's all I have um, for uh, my third video on games for now. Um, hopefully um, you guys might use one or two. I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. Let me know if they were a success or if you have any games you'd like to suggest to me. I'm definitely open. I love to uh, keep it fun and fresh. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I hope to see you guys again. Thanks.